is in a very different place than it was in the year 2000. It wouldn't expect to be number one or number two necessarily, would it? No, this is, you know, the Sony studio is really, uh, you know, they were fifth last year. That's kind of where they've kind of stuck around, somewhere in the middle of the pack, the lower end of the pack. This year is being a, a very difficult year for the Sony studios. They're actually uh, number seven out of the seven big studios that, that we track. So they only have about $200 million of domestic box office. So they, they desperately need a big film here. The good news is that uh, I think the Spider-Man film is going to deliver for them once again, and so the expectations are for a very strong opening domestically here this weekend. Should have a good, good run here in the U.S., and then, of course, uh, like most of these big movies, they have to play well overseas, and the expectations are that Spider-Man will, 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 will do that as well. Paul, whether it's a reboot, a retread, a sequel, whatever you want to call it, this summer has been a bit hit and miss. I mean, I'm talking about Transformers, Pirates of the the Caribbean. That puts a lot of pressure on Sony in this Spider-Man reboot. This is, what, the sixth Spider-Man film? Yeah, you're right. And uh, if you're Sony, the problem with the Sony Studios, unlike, say, the Disney Studios, is they really don't have, uh, you know, a big stable of franchises that they they can go back to every every c couple of years. So they're really trying to find now Spider-Man is certainly one 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 of these. So it tends to be much more of a hit or miss uh, kind of story for the Sony Studios unlike the Disney Studios which have invested so much money in the Pixar properties, the the Marvel properties and now the Lucas films. It seems like Disney has, you know, four or five franchises every single year. So it's a challenge for everybody else. Now, this year for Spider-Man himself, they're not going with, you know, the Tobey Maguire's of the world, the Andrew Garfield's. It's Tom Holland. So a great actor, but is this to keep costs down or is this just about putting a fresh face in there? I think this is, you know, really about putting a fresh face on the story and on the character. And uh, we, we've seen this, you know, whether it's in the Batman, you know, it's it's more about the character. And I think they're trying to take a little bit more of an irreverent look on the Spider-Man story uh, this, this this year. So, you know, it's, it's a new face. They're hoping that uh, this new actor really takes over as a force with this character, that they can build the franchise with this actor for another couple of series, much like they do with Tobey Maguire. So, again, a lot uh, that Sony's kind of banking on the Spider-Man franchise. Paul, just looking outside the Spider-Man slate and superhero slate, I mean, what else has Sony got? They've got a Jumanji... Re I love the original okay. Jumanji film. And I have to admit, I love the original Flatliners. I can't believe they're remaking Flatliners and Jumanji, but they are. I know! They'll have to bring back they're... Julia Roberts. It's crazy. Yeah, so I know. It, yeah, and Kiefer Sutherland. I mean, what a right. great film. I know. There's, you know, again, I think if, if you're Sony, you're, you're kind of really, you know, looking for a franchise here. Now, Jumanji was a film that was su successful 20 years ago, and they're bringing that back with, uh, with Dwayne Dwayne Johnson and some other big big stars. So that is expected to also be a big movie. Maybe do 200 million in domestic box office. So you know, Sony starting here with with Spider-Man might might have a much stronger second half of the year than they did in the first half of the year. And uh, you know, if, if if you're the Sony Corporation. That the the, the 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 filmed entertainment business isn't really a big profit driver for you, uh, but clearly uh, it's a big uh, you know I think it's a big business in Hollywood and everybody's looking to see how the big studios do and Sony has been lagging so again they need a big second half of the year.